Hi guys and welcome back. Today I've got a few exercises that are going to help you with your axle on and off the ice. So let's just first get into the basic movement of the axle or waltz jump. So we're standing like we're on an outside edge, arms out to the side, our leg is open and then we bring the leg in close, the arms in front and then we pull our arms and leg back and then we bring them forward as the jumping leg stretches and then we just exit out. So this is just a demonstration of the jump and how it should look and how you should go into it. But you can use this movement as an exercise as well just to help you prep for the axle and waltz jump. So feel welcome to do this a few times. And once again, just showing here and if you skip a little bit before you step forward, that's totally fine. Try to get the same feeling as you can on the ice. If that means you have to skip a little bit, like I am here, don't worry about it. And what we're really trying to do here is not to swing the free leg forward as we're jumping or even back as we are stepping forward. You want everything to be controlled. So taking the same principles from the previous exercise, we're now going to add a little turn after we step forward just one and a half and then exit. So we're not making this turn super tight or anything, just kind of getting used to turning around and staying on the right side and just getting coordinated with that turn. And making sure that you stretch in your exits. Now we're going to do a waltz jump. So really preparing, pulling back and really springing into the air. And then a nice exit, really making sure that our arms are going fully forward and that we're not going too tight with them. We really want to pull back as well, not pulling back just a little bit. You want as much momentum as you can for these jumps. And now we're going to do a waltz jump single loop combo. And don't worry if you have to skip a little bit before the loop. We're not on the ice, so we don't have the edge to glide us through. So if you skip a little bit, that's totally fine. All the same rules apply here. You really want to make sure that you're not swinging your leg, but you're really jumping from the jumping leg. Same in the loop jump. Starting off the next exercise, the same as the others, except now we're actually going to pull in as we jump up and then exit. So. All is the same, except when we jump, we go into the rotation for half rotation. So really stretching in the air and to the right side, and then a nice exit. So for this exercise, everything's the same, except now we're going to add a little extra jump at the exit, and then exit. So we're just trying to work on our quickness here for the exit. So once again, everything is the same. We stretch as we jump into the air, and then we're going to jump again at the exit. And we really wanna make sure that we're doing this as quick as possible. So now working on strengthening that jumping leg, we're just pulling back and jumping up. And really trying to concentrate that we stretch from that jumping leg and not swinging the free leg forward. You really wanna work with the jumping leg. So really keeping that free leg steady as it comes forward and not trying to swing it as I've said like a million times. And also wanna make sure that your arms are nice and round and not super tight. So like the previous exercises, we are now gonna add a half turn. So really trying to concentrate here to jump off of that jumping leg, really stretch from it and not swinging the leg and also really trying to get quick into this rotation, working on this quickness. So once again, pulling back and then jumping, quickly getting into that right side or left side if you jump the other direction. And we're really trying to bring those legs really nice and tight, really trying to practice the rotation here. This exercise is not only for single axles, these are really good for double axle as well, just to practice on your takeoff and getting into that rotation quicker. So now we're going to add that little jump that goes into the exit, like so. So once again, we're pulling back and then we're jumping into the rotation and then quickly jumping again and into the exit. 
and we're really trying to make this quick as possible the rotation as quick as possible and also the jump into the exit so that we're working on our coordination we're working on being quicker for these rotations and exits so really making sure that your legs are also really nice and tight in this rotation like in the previous exercise a lot of us struggle with our air position so this will help with that so finally we're gonna get into the axle jump so if you've done this on the ice then it's definitely gonna be much easier for you but if you haven't we're just going on a back outside edge then we're pulling the arms in front and then pulling them back and the leg and jumping forward trying to rotate one and a half rotations so you might find at the beginning you double foot this and that's totally fine you'll get used to it and you'll learn to get out of that habit but you really want to try to exit each time even if you double foot it just exit like in those exercises i showed you and it's very common to skip a bit in the exit since we don't have the ice here but definitely try to do your best to not skip and now i'm going to get into the common mistakes that we might make in an axle so first off is to really dip your hip in as you go forward so as you're going forward you would dip your hip in to the left side and really turning in the hip Next mistake is to overdo the back outside edge and then the front outside edge and then you end up jumping completely to the left side. So once again, really overdoing the outside edge and then again the next outside edge and then just stepping completely to the left. Next mistake is to go too low with the upper body and then letting the leg kind of swing way too much back. This is just going to throw our outside edge completely off, put us in the wrong form for the jump, and we won't be able to jump straight into it. Next mistake is to go way too far out with your arms. This is going to really mess with your form and it won't allow your legs to catch up because your arms are way too big. So make sure that you have your arms a little bit more round, not too tight, not too far out just a nice medium and on to the next one is when you are stepping forward and your free leg is way too tight close to your knee or you don't pull it back at all so you really need to make sure that you pull it back a little bit so that you have some kind of momentum going forward where here you can see i have none and same with the arms you want to make sure that you're not pulling them super tight to your body or not pulling them at all you want to pull them back a little bit so that again you have some momentum going into the jump and it's going in the right direction next mistake is to not jump or kind of pre-rotate kind of rush the takeoff and the jump so this isn't very common it does happen so make sure that you are jumping forward a little bit and then rotating so not rotating right away so a very common mistake is to swing the hip as you are jumping or rotating to the left side instead of going straight this is a very hard habit to break but it is possible so just keep thinking about going straight instead of swinging to the left all right now let's talk about our upper body posture so you want to make sure that you do not arch right before the jump because this is just gonna bring you on the wrong direction when you step forward and also you don't want to be slouching forward pushing those hips out this is also going to ruin your direction as you step forward so now let me just quickly talk about a correct form you want to have a nice straight back your arms and shoulders are in line with each other you're bringing your leg in and then as you step forward you're going to pull your arms and your legs back and then you're going to jump straight forward and your arms are kind of round and then coming in as you cross the legs and then you want to bring your leg bending it up and out into the exit so that's it for today. I hope you like these exercises and I hope they improve your axles or help you learn the axle and I'll see you guys next time.